and I can talk about that some more, but, but let me go into now death because it's really important. You can't enjoy life till you, til you learn how to die, and learning how to die is very easy if you practice it. It's not, you know, the, the Buddhists are misunderstood because they, you think, God, is so depressing learning how to die. And, well, I, I think that, that what they're saying is that if you learn that dying is a process that's part of you, uh, then you'll be able to learn how to live. Now, what I want to do is give you some tools to do that as a practice. And if you practice it within a week, the fear of death is gone. Okay? But you have to practice it. This is what it is. We have a sinister way of looking at the world because we look at it with fear. When a child, we have, we're built in to be born and to die effortlessly, completely. When a child is born, before the child is born, it has embryonic uh, fluid in, in the lungs. We're like fish, you know, you're extracting the, the, the oxygen from fluid. As a child is born, the child cries to expel the fluid and breathe. And the, the sinister interpretation we make is coming into a cold world. Uh, it's bad. It's, uh, you know, you have psych uh, psychoanalytic theories about that. The cry is a cry of joy to breathe. So we misinterpret from the beginning. The built-in system that we have is built in. It's, it's autonomic. The baby knows how to do it. You don't have to teach the baby to cry to get all that fluid out and to breathe. Dying is the same thing. It's built in. Dying is built in. The Tibetan lamas can die whenever they're ready. They sit in a circle and they die. Here is the fear. It's not the fear of dying. It's the fear of lamenting. Lamenting is a very mysterious emotion. Lamenting, to lament. And I'll explain that. Uh, what is lamenting? What happens is that if you accept that you're built in biologically to be born, you didn't have to think about or learn or be worried about living, you're also going to, and this comes from the research with uh, uh, hospices, that they ba they'll tell you that, that most people are not afraid to die. The more you lament, the more afraid you are to die. But you're not, not fear of dying is fear of lamenting. And I'll explain this in a minute. But you're, since it's built in, what they do is they say, okay, I want to be left alone so I can die. What they're saying is that let me let my system take care of what needs to happen. What they fear is the lamenting of the things that they haven't done in their lives. So, in a, again, in a roundabout way, the way to deal with the fear of death is to understand that it's a fear of lamenting and you begin to look at what you're lamenting in your life every day and you begin to live it. And you begin to learn how to live and the fear of death disappears because you're, what you're doing is a car, you're driving a car and the oil lamp, lamp goes on and you put in gas. That's what the fear of death is. You're not afraid of death, you're afraid of lamenting. And that's what, you know, Kierkegaard was talking about. Jumping into the side of transcendental, you despair comes in because you're groundless. So if you practice that, if you practice, what am I lamenting today? And what can I do about it today? What can I change today? Your fear of death begins to go down because you have less and less lamenting to do at the end. So you have a meter without knowing it that as you lament more and more, you'll fear more and more as you have less and less time to do what you need to do. And this is maybe uh, what Carolyn's talking about in her contracts, that, that if you don't fulfill the contract, you're going to be more and more afraid of, of, of the things that you're afraid of, which is, you know, to be gone. Now, the problem is this. You have a body that you take care of. You work out, and that body ages, and after a while, you have to let it go. Well, that's the problem, that in that process of, uh, of, of aging, what you're doing is you're saying, I would like to do this, but I'm not going to do it. Okay, it goes into the lamenting basket. I'd like to do this, and, and it goes to the lamenting basket. And then that gets confused as a fear of death because you can't fear what you're built in to have already. It's like a computer afraid of the software that, that, that it thinks it doesn't have, but it has. So what you do is you let go. The time of death, you let go, and it'll take care of you. What, it wa what it's not going to take care of is your lamenting, and this is why, free will. Okay, free will, you're built in to be born, and you're built in to die effortlessly. You don't have equipment to deal with free will. Why? Because how can you have software to handle everything? <laughs> right? <laughs> free will is for you to decide. And if you have software that says you should go right, you should go left. No, no I'm going to go straight. Oh, there's no software because it, it's a multitude of variables. It's impossible. That's the gift. And let me give you an example. Post-traumatic stress disorder 
happens when there's something out of the order of life, a rape, a child dies, the, the natural order of things is for the, for the children to bury their parents. When the parents bury their children, it's an out of order. So you don't have the equipment to deal with that. The brain doesn't have the equipment to deal with that. You deal with it, you reduce the anxiety, you put it away, and then it comes out later, 20 years later with depression or whatever. It's called post-traumatic stress. Why? Because the system is set up for the order of things. It's not set up for things that are out of order. Will is an out of order because you don't know what you're going to do. You can decide this, you can decide that. Since it's out of order, then there's no program for it. And it's very scary because you don't have, you can't predict it. You can't predict what you're going to do. So therefore, you fear the joy. And joy is free will, right? So you're, the, the joy becomes a very fearful emotion because it's pure will. 